Hello everyone, Nelson here from Epicenter and welcome to another episode of Epicenter How To and today I'm going to show you how to create multiple accounts on your computer. This is really useful creating multiple accounts for different user in your family, in your groups and all that so that you don't have to worry about mixing all your digital contents. For instance, you know uh, in your family you have a family a member of five and then everyone uses an iPhone or an iPad. Of course you want to mix up like the same song, the same contacts and all this and the easier way to do that is create contact on each individual person. Now let me just show you how to do that. All you need to do is go to this icon on the bottom. It says System Preferences. You can find this icon on the Apple logo as well or the shortcut on the Apple logo as well. Right there, System Preferences. And once that shows up, you will see this page right here, this beautiful page right here. This is like similar to Control Panel if you've been using a PC computer before. Okay, now what I want from this page is the user and group. Uh, normally, if you're using a lion, uh, you will see here users and groups. But this one, uh, uh, the name is different if you're using a, a, a snow leopard. It will show their accounts and all that. Okay, so let me just go ahead and click on this icon. And there you go. So you see right now, this is a page where I could add an account. This is a place where I could change the password. I could change the picture of my account and all this. Okay, you could also uh, turn off all the things that keep on logging in uh, uh, every time you turn on your computer. All right. So let me just go through right here. You see on the lower left hand corner, you have a padlock. Now if you notice, my account is grayed out. Some of the buttons are grayed out, so there's nothing I can do. It means if you see a padlock right here, it means that it's an admin use. Admin administrator only, so you cannot make any changes on this place unless you have an administrator password. So all you need to do is unlock this with your administrator password. So if you do have a password, key it in. If you don't have one, leave it blank and just simply click on unlock. There you go. As you can see right now, it shows unlock on my padlock and I could go ahead and start adding new accounts. So I could simply click on the plus sign right now. There you go. As you can see right here, New accounts, standard. Now there are different types of accounts. You have administrator. Administrator can do anything on your computer. Okay, so it's like the parental accounts of your computer. Now you also have a standard. Standard, uh, if you want to like install, uninstall some things or delete some important files on your computer, you still, the you, you still need the administrator passwords. Okay, you also have here the third one, which is managed with parental control. This one, it's for kids where you can control and monitor them what they're doing on the computer which is really useful because you know internet world is kind of uh, an open place anything you want to find out it's not out there and all you need to do is go to Google go to YouTube and you can simply type in anything and it even shows you some video tutorials on how to do it of course if you want to protect your kids use parental control which I'm gonna cover in uh, another episode of Epicenter how to okay now on here as well you also have sharing this is only good for sharing files and all that, or for sharing purposes only. And you also, the last one, of course, is groups for groups like office use and a small office use, or even a school, or even a, a work. All that. Okay. Now I'm going to use a standard for a standard use right here. And now I have to key in the full name. So you can put in your full name there, there if you want to. But I'm just going to put Epicenter. It's up to you what you want to put. Because this one, the full name, you can change later on if you want. Okay, but the account name on the other hand, you cannot change this once you set this up on here. So I could put it like Epicenter, there you go. Password, you could put in your password if you want to. Now, if you can see there's a key right next to it. If you click on that one, that's actually a guide that will tell you like uh, if the password is good and all that. So let me just type in a simple password here. I'm typing ABCD1234. And so I can see right there, it says like quality. It's not that good, but it's okay. And it says like tip this this is too rep repetitive it says right there okay so all I need to do is uh, try something else you know if you key in a really like a different password there as you can see it will show you the strength of your password okay so it's all up to you but normally if you don't want it just go ahead and leave it blank if you don't want any password okay now once you're done simply click on the create user now it would ask you, you did not enter a password, so just go ahead and uh, leave that alone. Just click on OK. Okay, as you can see, the spinning, it's spinning around, and there, the account has been created. As you can see right now, this is my account for Epicenter. Now I could easily uh, switch over from different accounts if I want to. 
Notice this uh, name on my upper right hand corner of my screen that says demo. You probably don't have that on your computer. That's actually the name of my computer, demo. Now on here, it allows me to switch over from different accounts if you want to. All you need to do, you can turn this on by the way, by going to login options right here. So you have there login options, click on it, and you have here show fast user switching menu as. So you can go ahead and turn this on, put a check mark on that, and you will have this shortcuts right here. Now once you have that, I could actually click on this account and I could literally transfer or switch over from different accounts that I want to without logging out the account that I'm using right now. Okay, so there you go. That's how easy it is to add accounts on your computer and how to switch on individual accounts easily. Okay, so that's what's called fast user switching. And I think that should do it. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.